well. Make sure you don't waste much water or any other natural resources, little kitty. It is vital to save them. Bye. Let me explain. Hey friends, it's a topic we must all learn about, not only to get good grades, but to save the world. So, let's zoom in. So, what do we mean by the word natural resources? Well, the answer is in the word itself. Yes, natural refers to mother nature and resources stands for a source of supply or support. So, when we put these words together, it simply means anything that is supplied by mother nature that can be used by the living beings. Natural resources are present on our planet on their own and do not need any human activity for their creation. Common examples of natural resources include water, forests, fossil fuels, minerals, plants, animals, and even air, which are a must for our development and survival. And based on their available amount and durability, these resources are classified into two types, renewable and non-renewable natural resources. Let us look at them in detail. Natural resources that have an unlimited supply and can be used again and again are called renewable or inexhaustible resources. For example, air, sunlight and water are renewable resources. However, in some cases, water is not renewable easily and cannot be used once it gets chemically polluted. On top of that, out of 71% of total water available on Earth, only 2.5% of all is fresh water and only 0.3% of that is available on the surface. At the same time, even polluted air can be hazardous to all living beings and therefore it is vital to take measures to reduce air pollution. To know more about contaminated water and air, please check out our playlist on pollution afterwards. Now, let us look into the definition of non-renewable resources. It simply means resources that are available in limited quantities or that do not grow and come back or take a very long time to come back. One of the cons of non-renewable resources is if we don't preserve them and waste them unnecessarily due to which they might go extinct once and for all. Yes, as the human population is increasing at an alarming rate, we are using more and more natural resources. At this speed, Sooner day will come when nature will not be able to supply us with resources such as plants and trees, animals, soil and fossil fuels such as coal, petroleum and natural gas. Thus, these non-renewable resources can go exhausted. And for that reason, they are also called exhaustible natural resources. Also remember my friends, natural resources are very vital for human survival. So, if they are not monitored carefully, there will come a time when there will be no food for the coming generation to eat, no material to build houses and even energy to run machines. Hence, it is essential to know the difference between exhaustible and inexhaustible resources and to practice sustainable development. This is nothing but the development that meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Trivia time! Did you know? 
people in rich countries consume up to 10 times more natural resources than those in the poorer countries? Yes, on average, an inhabitant of North America consumes around 90 kilograms of resources each day, while in Africa, people consume only around 10 kilograms per day. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind. <laughs>